frustration is growing as the number of crimes committed by juveniles continues just to grow in our state. Governor Ned Lamont announced plans to make changes to the juvenile criminal justice system. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galel is live at the state capitol this morning for us with more on what the governor is saying to address this issue. Good morning, Aya. Good morning, Caitlin and Wendell. And the governor did acknowledge that risk and mayhem is going on right now in the state of Connecticut. And so he is looking to fill more judge positions on the bench, hoping that'll help with the issue. He's also looking to extend the time that juveniles are detained, but some are questioning why these decisions took so long. Communities across the state are on edge as car thefts and break-ins escalate to dangerous levels. I think people are extremely vigilant. Some people have gotten gun permits. Many of the crimes are being committed by juveniles and happening during broad daylight. In some cases, the crimes have involved guns, car crashes, and physical attacks. Some of these kids, um, we got to be a lot stricter with. Uh, it's probably, you know, 10% of these folks are creating 90% of the problem. Governor Lamont says the lack of judges is slowing down our courts. There's already a backlog of cases from when the courts were shut down during COVID. The governor is also looking to detain criminals longer by making sure judges know the suspect's full history when asked to sign a detention order. But some want to see more done. For months, Republicans and activist groups have called for a special session for juvenile justice reform. The governor has the unilateral power to call the legislature into special session to deal with these issues. Stroke of the pen. Legislature, go to work. And Republicans say that it is sad that it took the governor months to address the seriousness of this issue. Now, in the next week, there should be a handful of new judge positions appointed. Reporting live this morning at the state capitol, Aguilel, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.